Hello viewers. Today for cleaning we have a Western Electric rotary dial telephone. This was the first rotary dial telephone I ever had. I bought it at a local thrift store a number of years ago and I got it before I was really interested in repairing and collecting telephones. I've always liked telephones to an extent but um, I never used to really repair them or anything like that. So, admittedly, this has never been properly cleaned. And you can see there is copious amounts of dirt all over the place. Especially inside the rotary dial in the seams of the handsets, um, earpiece and such. This, as most of them said, uh, Bell System property not for sale, but yet it still made its way out into the public. It's the dual gong ring. Um, these feet are long hardened up. I'm not sure if this cord is original to the telephone or not. This is the cord it had when I got it. And it certainly looks like, you know, it may have been wrapped up like this for years in storage so perhaps it is original I don't know it's uh, not in bad condition really it's you know cosmetically pretty poor but it still works um, and I don't think it's got too much static or anything but let's test this out we're gonna do a test call here and it does have a carbon microphone so let's not have an outburst about the way it sounds and um, the the port is broken so we're going to try to fix that I'm not sure if I have any on hand um, but we'll see what we can do about that so let me get this connected to the other line here and we'll go ahead and bring this up and I'll make sure this is set on loud it is have such a nice sound to them. Testing. Testing. One, two, One, two three. three. This is this the is sound, sound of a carbon, of a carbon microphone. microphone. Actually, this, Actually, this telephone, telephone sounds, sounds pretty, pretty good, good. Especially, especially for being, for being a, carbon a carbon microphone. microphone. Telephone. telephone. So, so, anyways, testing, testing. testing. It, definitely it definitely works, works fine. fine. And we'll test the other end of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Check, check. This has no volume adjustment on the handset, so it just is whatever it is. Now, um, we can make a call. I have to get my dial gizmo, though. And this contraption allows us to use uh, pulse dialing still. So I'll go ahead and call it the test phone now. Why isn't this... oh well, actually, the reason it wasn't working is because I had it plugged in the wrong way. Okay, here we go. Take 50. There we go. Now it's working. Oops. All that time wasted because I made a mistake. Okay, you can hear the tones after every dial created by the dial gizmo. I wonder who we were harassing them for, because clearly it wasn't dialing correctly. Hello, testing, an outgoing call. 
It dials, it dials correctly. correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now that we've confirmed it's working on both ends, let's go ahead with the cleaning. I'll leave that connected for now. I'll just disconnect it over here. So the handset should be fairly simple. The handset, I believe we can remove all the electronics from here relatively easily. The speaker, we can uh, remove the wires from like this. Let's disconnect this here. And we'll remove the foam. And you should be able to just pull those wires through. So that's the, all the handset pieces. So now we can get all this cleaned up. Here's our microphone, which actually is really not in good condition. I'm very surprised it works as well as it did. This is just uh, another testament to how well these phones were built. So we'll get these parts cleaned. Let's get inside the base here. I don't think I have a common thing for the electric one, so we'll just have to do it like this. I don't service these two regularly, so I'm not exactly certain what to expect as far as how easily this can be cleaned. I believe the whole top just pulls off and we can clean that fairly easily, but the rotary thing may be a different story. Okay, so that does lift right out. Oh, that's nasty. Not sure what all that junk is in here. I'll add that to that pile to clean. Now, the rotary mechanism here. Oh, let's see here. I'm not sure how far I really want to take that apart. You know, what's interesting about these telephones, there's almost nothing electronic in here. It's all just mechanical. I mean, you can see this whole dial mechanism is, is purely mechanical. And that's why these lasted so long, because, you know, there's nothing in here that really wears out. It just works. And it looks like if we undo this screw, perhaps... And it'll let something off the front. There's a little hole here that I'm going to put this tack into. Or actually, this tack is a little bit too fat. I got to get something that's thinner, perhaps a paper clip. Okay, I got a paper clip, and that fits in here correctly. So I've got this paper clip in here, and we're going to turn this all the way and a little bit past what it would normally do. And now when it stops, I'm going to put this all the way down. And it's supposed to turn a little bit more. Maybe, maybe I messed it up. Let's try again. That's what I wanted, so now we can clean that and perhaps uh, I'm not 
Not sure how this is held on. Maybe easier to just clean this plastic piece with it in place. I think we'll do that because it's not that hard to clean. Okay, so that's been cleaned. And it still doesn't look the greatest because it's, you know, it's scratched up from your finger going along there and of course it's yellowed from age. So it's not flawless, but at least now it's clean and it certainly looks presentable. Now I will take care of the rest of the components. I'll just take a quick look at these before I do so. This I don't suspect to clean up very well just because of the fact that it's something that moves and gets handled a lot. I'm getting tired of those hang-up calls. Okay, so we're back with the handset. This has been cleaned and it came out pretty good. I'll make the same comment about the base. It's not flawless. It does have some marks and the plastic is starting to show its age with the yellowing and whatnot. But you know the telephone's been around the block it's probably was used for 20 30 years it's gonna have sides of wear on it so it's not a big deal um, this like I expected is it didn't come out very good it's got a lot of scratches on it but it's clean now so that's what's important so let's get the handset put back together feed these wires up through here Maybe more of a challenge than I initially anticipated. Hmm. to do this to snake it through because it's not cooperating. Oh, that was a fail. Alright, um, let's see here, what else can we do about that? I'll have to grab some tape, I think. for another future use. And now we'll attach this.
Oh, we forgot the foam. We have foam. What is that? So like cotton. What is the purpose of that cotton? Leave it in the comments. I really have no idea. And this, I don't know what to do with this because it's working fine. So the contacts are clean. This is clean. We're just going to leave that alone. Okay, so there's the handset. A little bit of moisture in here still. I'm going to go grab the base. Okay, here's the base. It's got signs of wear, it's got some yellowing, but it cleaned up pretty well. So now we got to put the rotary dial back together. That looks to be good. So now we can put this back in place. And for those that would find this interesting, here is the internals of the of the uh, dialer working. So let's see here. Get this mounted back on here. This number 60, I believe, came out of the telephone. I'm not sure what that came from or if it has any significance. Now we'll see if this needs to be adjusted as far as the angle goes once I put the base back on. It's possible that it won't be at the right angle or something. And I had mentioned, I had mentioned this this uh, connection issue in the intro of the video, and I'd have to get another one of these plugs, which it's entirely replaceable. I just have to get another one of these plugs to put on there. Um, perhaps if I had the piece that broke off, we could glue it, but. I don't know if I have it, ever had it or not. It probably was broken when I got it. So um, I'll look on internet just out of curiosity and see what one of these goes. Oh jeez! I'll look on the internet just out of curiosity and see what one of these goes for. If it's like you know 50 cents or whatever, I'll grab one. But it still works. So I'm really not going to get that flustered about it right now. So now we got to put the base back. And this um, handset cord is really held on. Let's this way to round this. So this under there. It's primarily just held on by the base component, so it doesn't, uh, you know, just just slips in there.
What in the world? Am I missing something here? Yeah, I am missing something. Alright, that looks good. So we'll put these screws back in. Does this one not have a washer? I think it's not. I'm not going to toss this cord in case it is the original, but I do want to put a nicer one on here to use with it. So I got this one. This is a 25 foot. Probably longer than necessary, but since these feet aren't, aren't very, uh, don't have any grip to them anymore, I don't want this to go flying off the table. Okay, we are now ready to do the final checkout. So I will connect this up and we will ring the phone again. Sounds get kind of muffled by the towel here. Check. Okay. So now we'll do a we'll dial out and make sure all that is still working. Testing, 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 one, two, three. It sounds good. I'll talk into this telephone. Testing, testing, Okay, well, I would say that was a successful cleaning. It uh, looks pretty good now. Whoops. You know, the plastic is showing some signs of aging and such, which is to be expected. You know, some of these phones are 50, 60 years old now. Uh, but anyways, that's that. Um, this is ready to go. Thank you for watching, comment, subscribe, and out.